Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna make something simple. That is, we're gonna make a cross. Okay. Now let's hide the camera and the light. Press H to hide, or you can just delete it if you want. Select the default cube. Press one for front view, and it would be easier if you go in if you use the mirror. Okay. Press one. Go to uh, edit mode, the other mirror, and enable the other mirror. If you don't have this one, then you should enable the add-on, okay? Press N. Now you can see it mirrored nicely. Now let's go to face mode. Press 3. Select here, select here. Okay. Now let's extrude, I mean right click. Extrude individual face, okay? Not this one. Individual. Something like that. It would be easier if you enable the snap tool, okay? Now let's extrude individual. See it there? See how it snapped over there? Yeah, that which means that works nicely. Something like that. Okay. Now for the below, it's the same, but we're just gonna have to just extrude. Press E to extrude. Over there, make it a little longer. Not too long, not too short. Something like there. Ah, look at that, guys. That's how that's the simple cross to made. Now let's see. Now let's apply the subdivision surface. Okay, go to the spanner here, the mirror, leave it. Subdivision surface. Increase the level view width something like three, or if you want this super smooth, you can use to four. For me, I'm gonna go with four. Render. I know what this does, but maybe it's a good idea to increase it to three. Now let's, if you want to make this part of your shop, you can just add a loop cut and go there and use this one and go there, okay? But we're not going to make that one. We're gonna, maybe we're going to make, but maybe later. We're going to use the mean crease, okay? Now in face mode, select the edge or edge over here, hold alt and select it. And it should be nicely selecting the edge only, not over the front, okay? I'm gonna press N, go to the item, and increase the mean crease. Not to uh, not like this, okay? This is way too smooth. Actually, if you want, you can use bevel as well instead of subdivision surface. Bevel would do too. If you want the edges only, use the bevel, okay? Hello, let me see if it if it works well. Yes, it works quite well. Let's shade smooth it. Right click to shade smooth. Oop, we got a problem there. What's good? What could be the problem, guys? Okay, have you figured out what's the problem? If you do, then that's very good. You know what the problem is. Now I'm going to show you the problem now, okay? If you already know, then it's fine, okay? It's very good. Now the problem here is because. We have a face over here, okay? If you want to see it, go to edit mode and go to wireframe mode over there. If you can see, there are two faces there. If you can see this dot here, these are the outside and these are the inside. Let me zoom, you can see that. That's the, that's the face there and we don't need that, okay? So we're going to delete that. Press delete, press delete to delete the face, okay? Delete the face only, not the vertices. If you use the vertices, that's what's gonna happen. And that's not what we wanted, okay? Now I'm gonna control Z that and go and delete the face. Now let's go to uh, solid mode and let's try shade smooth. Actually, we already shade smooth. Now it's fine. Before that was shade flat. Now let's shade smooth. The problem is gone now. Okay? Now let's make this place a little bit quite sharper again. If you want to add another loop cut, make it sharper. Add again this one and this one, but not too sharp for me. Now let's this one, let's increase the size. I'm going to add some characters on it. Scale it to Z, Something like that, making like an angle like that. Scale it to the X. Ah. That, that looks good. 
if you saw chess, if you know chess, okay, the king one, this is how it looks, okay? Maybe something like this, something not, well, yeah, a lot of chess. <laughs> now the fun part, let's shade it. We already done, okay, um, we done the shape now, now let's paint it, okay? I'm gonna go with red, not red, that's bad. Oh, what did I do? Oh, this one. Ah, let's leave it to white. If you want, you can use any other color as well. I'm gonna use a, let's use a color wrap. And that the color, you can just leave the color like this if you want. To me, I'm gonna add some extra texture. You can pick anything you want. How about magic? Let's try magic, okay? So the color, not the color, the fact. We want the fact. Hmm. That's not what we wanted. You know what? I'm just gonna use the noise. Something like that. Let's make the roughness. So just the roughness a little bit. The this detail. I want it the detail because we want it to be a uh, well. Not all things are clean, okay? Okay, now that's gonna be a white. Let me make it a little. That's gonna make a green, okay? Because mines are green. There. Oh, it's supposed to be this one. And this one gonna be a light green, something like that. Ah, something like that. It doesn't seem much, it doesn't look much different at all because of the color, okay? What is this? Oh, this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me zoom that. Oh, it's hard if you not zoom it. Ah, yeah, something like that. Uh, you know what? I don't think I like the green though. It's gonna go something with white, maybe blue. Ah, uh, yeah, something like that. You can adjust it until you got something that you want. Okay. Um, I think this color looks fine now. I'm not gonna mess it anymore. Now let's use the metal. If you want it to be metal, then increase it to the metal. Oh, look at that. That's metal. To one. But not too much. 0 0.900 would do. Specular, if you want it to be more shine, increase it. If you don't want shine, then decrease it. I'm gonna use a specular, but we already have metal, so yeah, don't need it. Look at that, looks like glass, but it's not a glass. Something like that, looks good. Now if you want, this is actually just a color. If you want to add an extra again, add the bump. I mean, you can see the roughness on it. Add a bump. Make sure to fake it correctly. <laughs> Texture, I'm gonna use noise now. I'm gonna go to the height, okay. Oh, that's way too not what we want. Maybe you like something like that, but for me, I'm gonna increase that. Detail, I want more detail. Roughness, you can adjust this, depends on your liking, okay? Get the roughness over there. The strength, this is the most important part here, the strength, okay? Increase the strength. You only want it just a little bit, okay? If you think it's from like this, well, looks still looks good, but well, depends on your liking. That's not okay. Ah, just a little bit there. It's got some roughness, so maybe increase it a little bit. Ah, okay. There would do, guys. There you have it, guys. A simple cross there. Very, very good, right? And it's fun to make. So now you now try it for yourself, okay? It's very fun, simple modeling stuff, good way to learn, and, well, good way to increase level as well. Oh, I forgot something. Let's apply the mirror. Uh, make sure in object mode, control A to apply, or you can just press here. I'm going to press here, okay? Apply, and this one, apply. Look at that. The topology there is actually very good. There's no problem with the topology there. Actually good. <laughs> So that's all for today, guys. Hope you have, hope you enjoy what I'm doing here. 
If you like it, then give it a thumbs up and consider subscribe for more fun, okay? So, I'll see you next time on the next tutorial. I don't know what I'm going to make, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be fun, okay? So, bye now, for real. See ya.